So with Barbie well on the way to be earning a billion dollars at the box office worldwide, pink is not the only colour that Mattel are seeing right now, they're also seeing green. The sequel is, well, let's admit it, all but inevitable. It's out before Mission Impossible, Fast and Furious, Indiana Jones, and it seems the audiences are kind of showing that they want to see something else. And by the looks of it, Mattel are happy to oblige. They have not one, not two, not three, but 45 movies in the works. These people definitely mean business. All of these films are based on the IP that Mattel own as uh, as toys. So we're going to see a lot more toy-based movies uh, in the in the coming years. So out of those 45 movies that are in the works, 14 have been properly announced. First we have Barney, the big purple dinosaur. Uh, personally, I didn't watch Barney as a, as a kid, but I was aware of him. Yeah, I just wonder what, what, this, uh, what this film would entail. It's produced by Daniel Kaluuya, which you may recognise from Get Out. Which is interesting reading some of the details about it, say that it's not going to be like Dark, but it's going to be more, more mature. Not mature as in sort of like, oh yeah, swear word, swear word, but mature as in dealing with more mature themes, so kind of sounds like Barbie like are they going to do with um with Barney like what they did with Barbie like because it, it worked with that so hopefully hopefully that same thing can uh, can work with Barney as well Hot Wheels I, I think we all know what Hot Wheels are they're the uh, toys mainly mainly marketed towards boys like the more masculine coded toys of uh, you know fast cars and do the loop de loop do the ramp and fly over cause chaos in many parents living rooms it's got producer JJ Abrams attached and it also appears to be sort of like a, a an old almost like a Fast and Furious sort of thing I mean then again Need for Speed and other films like that have tried to capture the audience in the past but they weren't really su successful so we'll see where that goes all we can tell from this is it will be sort of like Fast and Furious, but with Lens Flare. Masters of the Universe. Now, this wouldn't be the cinematic debut of it, because we've had the film in 1987 starring Dolph Lundgren, and that wasn't exactly successful. And we've also got the TV series as well, the casting TV series, which people probably know more about. Or Uno. All right, we, we all know what Uno is, but um, there's not much information about it, but how can you really make a film about Uno? Like... All right, that will be an interesting one to see what take they have on it. Thomas the Tank Engine. Now, the books have been out since 1945, and the series first aired in 1984. But like with Masters of the Universe, this would be the cinematic debut. There was a film in 2000. It starred Alec Baldwin and Peter Fonda. Pretty weird merge between live action and model trains. And that didn't go to well with audiences, so hopefully this one will be better. And this is a load, to be fair, I don't really know of, because... I mean, maybe they haven't marketed them that well in Britain. Maybe it's a bit before my time. Maybe it's a bit after my time. And they include Rock'em Sock'em Robots, American Girl, Major Mount Mason, Wishbone, Matchbox, Viewmaster, and Christmas Balloon. So that's it. Phase one of the Mattel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> but we say that, like, cinematic universes are getting a bit... Do I say a bit tired now? Like, okay, all the studios we're doing after Marvel found success with the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe and with Avengers. DC wanted a piece of that pie with Man of Steel and the ones afterwards. Universal wanted to do that with their dark universe. Started with the Mummy in 2017, but after that flop, they decided, nah, nah, we, we're gonna we're gonna cut our losses. And even Marvel is showing some signs of fatigue. So yeah, with this obsession with interconnected universes, I mean, for me personally, it feels a lot like homework. So I'm hoping for Mattel, they aren't just going to have an interconnected universe. And despite the DCEU, DC have found some success with standalone films like The Batman or Joker. So maybe Mattel will be going down this route that, yeah, Barbie and its sequel will be in its own little uh, thing and... Masters of the Universe would do its own thing, and Hot Wheels would do its other things. So, I mean, for me personally, I think that would be better. I think we're better just to keep everything just separate and have them all do their own different thing, and not having to go to watch these five films in order to understand everything. But all in all, it's not enough to make films just interconnected in, in order to make people see them. The films have to be good. That Barbie was good. It was very enjoyable. It was fun. It was just. It was witty, and yeah, it may have been like a big advert, but it was pretty good. So hopefully, hopefully, Mattel will see this, not just saying, oh yeah, people want to see toy movies, people want to see good movies. It doesn't matter if it's based on a toy or a game or anything like that, so long as it's good. And by the looks of things, they have some good people attached to these. But hey, that's the upcoming Mattel Cinematic Universe. What do you think? Is it going to be good? 
it's going to be bad is it a cynical cash grab or do we have some real gems coming up thank you for watching give me your thoughts down below if you have any and i'll see you later